out here on their own, and I think they've done a great job. If it's a close bang bang call, they get together and discuss it. Yep. Coeur d'Alene team looked really good in that 16-6 win over Washington. Jumped on them early. A little bit of a rally from the West Seattle Little Leaguers, but then they added five more to win it going away. There's a liner off the glove of Schilling. The first baseman then throws it behind the pitcher, and Cherry's on his way to second. He's going to make a big turn. The throw goes towards home plate with the third pace, but Hecker goes after it, leaving third unoccupied. Reynolds hits a bouncer to Hecker at the high corner. It throws it, and it's off the glove of Schilling. And everybody's safe. Runners on the corners now. And when the first baseman stretches to oh, Reynolds, takes second base. That was a delayed steal. Took off late, saw that the catcher was going to toss the ball back to Newland, and he took off on the throw back to the pitcher. No play. Mason Newland now is. Two fastball whipped in the air to left field. Peterson coming on, can't get there. Two runs are going to score. Reynolds and Smith come in. And caught between second and third now is DeBoer. The throw to third, they got him. That's the first out of the inning. And it's now a 3 0 game. He is balanced a little bit, dives forward, ball gets behind him. And then Austin DeBoer just got a little bit greedy trying to turn a double into a triple. Runs on three hits, and he get, just got caught no man's land here. I think we're going to discuss the play at third base. It was